I9 10850K now or Ryzen 9 5900X later already going to be waiting on a NVIDIA 3000 series in like five years. Well, do you want Intel or AMD? 10850K now, 10 cores, do you want- The Ryzen 9 5900X is going to be a superior CPU. It has more cores. Yep. The per core performance in real terms is about the same. It's a little faster on the Ryzen. Not so much as to be mind blowing, but because it's got more cores. All things being equal, a Ryzen 9 5900X is going to be a superior CPU to an i9 10850K. But the Ryzen 9 is $100 more and isn't available now. Yeah. Intel came out with the 10850K to make a chip that was reasonably priced. It's currently $435 for just the chip with the promo code on Newegg. It is. Four thirty-five today versus five fifty sometime some other time. Later. If it's the middle of December, well, that's not too bad. But what if it's March? Exactly. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I people go. Well, when do you think it's going to be restocked? Not a freaking clue. Nope. I I not even going to get. How would I know? I mean. <laughs> You know, I have no idea. It could be December, it could be March, it could be St. Swithin's Day. Exactly. Ooh. Are you willing to throw those dice? There is one big benefit to the Intel system, and it's why she, look, she already has a Ryzen 9 3900X. We're going to build her an i9 10850K. Now, in fairness, we have a YouTube channel. I can justify this because we need content and we need to play with everything. I need to play with all of this stuff. And the only way to do it is to have it in front of you to do everyday life stuff. So she'll have a Ryzen 9 here at the office and she'll have the i9-10850K at home. The i9 comes with a mature motherboard Yes, I know the Z, the, the 400 series are new. No, they're not. The 400 series is a minor iteration of the 300, which was a minor iteration of the 200, which was a minor iteration of the 100. They've added features and they've gotten better, but the truth of the matter is they got that crap figured out. Now, LGA 1700 in a year with Big Little, that'll be new with some fussies. I yeah, would we'll, expect actually the first year- Well, just look at Apple's M1. That's bricking laptops all over the place. Well, um, did you see that Painfully Honest Tech is actually considering sending his M1 back and ordering an Intel Mac because yep. he thinks he thinks it's actually not ready for prime time? No, it's not. Not at all. So I've actually been watching the Mac YouTubers talk about the pros. Some love it, and some are like, I uh, think I'm going to love this on the second generation. Yes, exactly. When everything is updated and the software's yep. had a year or two. Yeah. If you buy an i9-10850K today, it will just work. It'll take any RAM. It'll take any software. There aren't going to be 15 different BIOSes to upgrade. You're not going to have to deal with any support. It's just everything just works. It does. Would you like a system that just works? Yes. That's why you're getting the i9. Exactly. Uh, Solomon Mars has a question. And I would like to point something out. You're getting a better computer than I have. You still got your 18 core 36 thread chip. That's a work machine. You can have the thread ripper upstairs if you want. Your computer at home will be better than my computer at home. My computer at home is an i9 9900K and yeah. you'll be getting an i9 10850K. Yeah. Got a problem with that? I do not. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I won't have to listen to her complain about her 3600X anymore. Oh, it's having a little bit of a conniption. That's um, because you've got a Zen 2 on a 300 series motherboard. And I have a 1440p ultra wide and I multitask and- I am firmly convinced that the majority of your problems with that machine are 300 series and Zen yeah. 2. If it was 400 series or Zen plus, it'd be fine. 
Yeah. If we put a 2700X on there instead of a 3600X, I'll bet, I'll bet it would become completely perfect. It would be better. 